Hello college kids, it's Tuesday and I didn't make a video last week because I'm a lazy fuck. I've discovered that I'm a lazy fuck is a very good thing to say to respond to any accusations of not having done something because there's not really anything that anyone can say back. Anyway, today is a reed making day. So I'm making some reeds because I'm on holiday. And so I've been reading some books. The book I'm reading right now is Neil Stevenson's Baroque Cycle. Um, I really, really love Neil Stevenson, and the Baroque Cycle is the one work of his that I haven't read. It is made up of three volumes this size. This volume has three books in it, and I think the second has two, and the third has three, or something like that. So I've decided that in between each separate I'm going to read a different book so that I don't burn out on the whole thing, which is what happened the last time I tried. So after I finished the first book, I read The Elegance of the Hedgehog because I was uh, looking for something to read and I saw someone that I know walking around with this book, so I figured it must be the kind of book that people that I know read and therefore I should read it. Um, it was really good and it also has a very good movie um, made about it, which you should watch if you understand French after you read the book. Um, and yeah, what I like about these two authors is that they're not afraid of being didactic and they often go into long periods where they just kind of explain philosophical concepts that are necessary for the plot. Well, they're less necessary for the plot than the to the Hedgehog, but um, yeah, if you're not acquainted with Neil Stevenson, you should get acquainted because he's a genius. Yeah. I also saw Pirates of the Caribbean last night, and I really enjoyed it, mostly because I kept picturing the missionary guy as uh, one of the Waterhouse family from this book, which greatly improved the entertainment value of the missionary guy and his plotline, which the missionary and the... Oh, oh, spoilers, spoilers. But, uh, the missionary and the mermaid. I can't find my new razor blades. <sighs> now I need to let this dry for a few days. So I'm going to deposit it on here and leave it. And then later I'll make it pretty and probably put nail polish on it or something. I've been acquiring quite an astonishing collection of nail polish, and I blame the internet. Nail polish, like My Little Pony and male genital enlargement scams, seems to be something that, while it existed before the internet, has somewhat taken on a new life. In fact, there is such a large part of the internet devoted to nail polish that it started to resemble a fandom. Like it's, like, nail polish is a TV show, or a book, or a movie. There is fan fiction about nail polish. And there are tumblers about nail polish, and there are whole blogs run by people who change their nail polish three to five times a day. And while I'm not yet one of them, I do have fairly elaborate things on my fingers right now, and... I, I don't know where this is coming from, but nail polish is an internet thing, and I blame the internet. Oh, the internet's so weird. 